Good morning, Dr. Jen, the Intuitive Phoenix here, wanting to jump on and share with you an experience I had just today. I literally woke up having a rough morning. And for me, rough is like rough. Um, you can't get much lower than rough. And all I could think was, I just want to quit it all. Now, some of you know that I closed my chiropractic practice at the end of January to follow my calling into working virtually with psychic and intuitive healing. And it has been one of the most amazing experiences of my life in so many ways. And at times, well, one of the most difficult. And I woke up in that space this morning. Literally on tears, I mean in tears, on the toilet. Yeah, not the best way to start the day. And I found myself sitting in that, in that, yeah, that just that awful feeling and knowing that that's not how I wanted to spend my day. And really, though, wanting to listen to me and my being and what, what was being asked of me. So one of the first things that I did was get connected to me. Instead of all these thoughts going on in my head and just spinning and creating what I call my shit storm, where I feel like I'm sucked in and before you know it, like I'm off with all this crap um, and how, well, I won't go there. Anyway, um, so the first thing is to get in my body, some deep breathing and just some, okay, and allow the feelings to flow, allow the tears to flow, not trying to say like, oh, I don't want this, even though, I mean, let's be honest, I don't want to feel this way. And yet I know from experience, not just my own, but all the clients that I work with, that when we deny our feelings and stuff our feelings and ignore our feelings and try to push them away, they are going to come back. <laughs> and typically at the worst possible moment, at least in this case, I'm in the privacy of my home. And it's just me. So I can allow those feelings to flow. And I'm sharing this with you and I'll share more in a moment, because I want to be able to show you how you can go from having a really rough start to your day to turning it to right on, which is what I did in less than three hours. And I know from, again, from my own experience, when I've had these rough days in the past, they could take days or even weeks to fully move through and move out of them because I didn't know how. I didn't know how to feel what I was feeling and process it, learn from it, and integrate it. And now I know how to do that. The other thing that I want to share, you know, once I went from, okay, in my body, allow the feelings, don't stuff them, don't push them aside. There's no spiritual bypassing going on here. And yeah, there's no ignoring. I'm acknowledging myself. I'm allowing myself to be in the moment, fully in the moment. And then I am looking at notes here because I really want, not just for me, but for those of you who are watching this to maybe learn from my experience. That's one of the reasons why I do the work that I do is because I don't want anybody to like feel rough for days or weeks or more. And I know there are people out there who do feel that some of them are my clients and we're moving from those days, weeks or months to hours. And one of the other things I did this morning is I shot a text to a friend who one I knew would be up and I just said, I'm having a rough day. If you could send me a little boost, I'd greatly appreciate it. And she sent a text message and let me see if I can find it quickly here. 
And it said, yes, I struggle. I struggle a lot. I just don't quit. Now, when I reached out to her, I'm not sure what I was looking for. I was not expecting that message. And yet it was perfect because part of me did just want to quit. Part of me just wanted to say, fuck it. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with the roller coaster. I'm done with hard. I'm done with, you know, with how I was feeling in that moment. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a little excited about this. Can you tell? And that support that I received was perfect, was perfect. Because it really was like, you know what? Yeah, part of me does want to quit. But when I took a deep breath and I said, but is that what I'm called to do? The answer was no. Am I called to do something other than the work that I'm doing? The clear answer was no. Quitting is not an option. Not for me. The next thing that I did was step into what I call my do-be routine. It's the activities that I do that are for my being, that support me being in my body, being connected, being present, being me. I exercised. I, let me see, I have my list. Drank water. You know, a lot of times we're dehydrated. It contributes to us feeling like, blah. Um, I pulled an Oracle card from one of my favorite decks. The message was perfect. It reminded me, again, to go within, to seek my peace from within me. So that was my intention for my doobie routine this morning. I looked at my beliefs. What was I believing in those moments? And were they the beliefs that I wanted to hold on to? And the answer was no. So I literally put on my whiteboard the list of beliefs that I was calling in to own today, to celebrate today. I turned on some music. I did my clearing ritual. And I spoke to my ancestors, all along with getting showered and dressed, having breakfast, and all of that took under three hours. Now, it is one of the benefits, certainly, of being the owner of my business. Today is an administrative day in my business, and I could take that time. Now, do I always take that much time? No. But today, that is what I was called to do to be me, to love me, to recognize me, to take care of me, and for me to be at my best. Because to dive into the work that I have planned for the day, if I'm not okay, doesn't make sense. Then I'm pushing through I'm bypassing what's going on for me. I'm probably stuffing what's going on for me, none of which is healthy, none of it which is healing or supports the life that I'm creating. And then one of the last things I did is I allowed the shift to happen. I recognized how I was already feeling differently. And acknowledged myself for the steps that I took. Now, you can do this with ease. And I say that because, again, in the past, and I'll say probably about 10 years ago, I can think of some situations where I was feeling like this days, weeks, probably even longer on some level. And now I could consciously, intentionally, with awareness and loving myself, supporting myself, do it in less than three hours. To me, that's a win. So I turned a rough morning to a right on day by taking care of me. The ease comes in because the do be routine, for instance, all these things that I mentioned are part of my daily routine. I do them every day. Now today I stepped them up. Today I did more. And I have some other things planned 
for breaks today to support me staying on track. If this, if you find yourself with a rough day, what routines will support you being present, being in your body, moving out of your head with the shitstorms happening? So that way you can move through your morning or your day with intention, with clarity, with awareness. And as a result, with ease, all while loving yourself. Now, if this sounds like something that you want to be able to do in your life, in your business, in your career, absolutely send me a message, ask your questions, share your comments. I will get back to you. And if you're called, let's get on a phone call. I don't want anybody to be in that, ugh, that shit storm, in that rough morning thinking it would just be so much easier if I quit. If this sounds like you, reach out. I'm here. I look forward to connecting. I'm sending you love and health and ease in your transformation until we connect again. I'll talk to you later. Bye.